Two sample T test. There are three kinds of two sample T test. One is the uh, two sample T test with equal variance. Another one is the two sample T test with unequal variance, and two sample T pair T test. Now, to know which one is applicable for what situation, you can check this um, flow diagram, I would say, under the openeducator.com, uh, module two, comparing two population, like this. So here you can see uh, how to find the appropriate test, which two sample T tests are the most appropriate uh, for your experimental situation. So let's talk about the two sample T test with equal variance, two sample T test with unequal variance in this um, in this um, video. Uh, we'll be so explaining when to apply it, how to collect data, how to analyze it using both Microsoft Excel and Minitab, and finally we'll explain the results in the context of the problem. So an experimental situation would be, let's say we want to compare the uh, Swedish male population with the US male population with respect to their height, and we don't have any clue about their population statistics. So the population standard deviation is unknown. That's the word here, and it must be normally distributed. So here is the data set. Let's say you simply randomly collect some Swedish um, male population height and some US population height and then um, here is this um, entire data. Now you can go to data tab and then data analysis um, click on that um, t-test equal variance. Now for the equal and unequal it's just a theoretical difference. There wouldn't be any practical difference at all. Now, generally, you think that, okay, Swedish male, probably similar to um, US male, so you can select equal variants. Um, on the other hand, you can see here in the sample data, US probably have a little bit more diverse population compared to the Swedish, so their variance could be a little bit different, so you can assume unequal variance. It doesn't really matter in any circumstances, basically, to assume whether equal and unequal. If you do manual calculation, though, the equal uh, variance formula for manual calculation is easier, so I would do assume manual. Uh, if I have Microsoft Excel or Minitab or any software, it doesn't really matter. I can use unequal, uh, probably the most appropriate if you have software. Uh, if you do manually, equal would be better. Uh, with software, unequal. So let's just select one. doesn't really matter that much. So click on there. It probably be the difference will not make it the final conclusion uh, change. Hypothesis difference is zero. We're just testing whether they are equal or not. Uh, so then this is the analysis results for uh, that. Uh, and this is the p-value that we um, are worrying about. Now if you go to the um, mini tab, basic statistics, two sample t-test, you can select the uh, let me turn off my you can select the, I think it's this way, this one, and then this sample, check the options. We said, yeah, I don't know. I think we selected equal variance. Doesn't really matter. Uh, select one, hypothesis difference, this uh, level of significance, 5%. So hit OK, hit OK. Um, same results here, 0 0.03, uh, 0 0.013 here is same 0 0.013 if you rounded this thing. Um, so this p-value is 0 0.01, which is 1%, which is less than our level of significance, which is 5%. This p-value is for the null hypothesis to happen. So the null hypothesis we made, they are equal, and we are seeing that p-value is only 1%, so it's too low probability for the null hypothesis to happen. Uh, it is lower than our set criteria 5%, our level of significance. So we'll say we'll reject the null hypothesis and we'll accept the alternative, meaning that they are different. Now, 
if you reject it you see they are different now the next question would be well then who is taller who is smaller or things like that in that case um, then you make another hypothesis because in the data you have seen that yeah, so this is a little bit taller than the um, than the US you can see here so this is 71.5 US is 69.5 seven so then you can make an hypothesis that yeah uh, u.s male is shorter than the swedish male and then the one-sided hypothesis is basically half of two-sided hypothesis so you still be rejecting it so it's not going to change anything how we're making a conclusion on this alternative hypothesis where you said not equal and then you in the conclusion you will say that swedish is taller it will be wrong so then basically you have to rewrite the alternative hypothesis to be correct and say that yeah statistically uh, the Swedish male is taller than the US male.